Hello everyone, welcome to HyperlogicFX.com. So this is part one of a few segments on how to properly use the Hyper Neurax. So today we're going to begin by showing you using various dual parameters and you know each subsequent video that you will see on our channel as well as on our website will show you how to effectively use the Neurax and be able to profit hundreds of dollars per day and have consistency. So without further ado, let's continue. Okay, so for this segment, we are going to now show you as we have on our website a basic um, tutorial this is going to go more in depth in this specific specific uh, demonstration what i want to do is focus on it is better if you're going to be using one parameter it is better to use the um, target calculator which we will get into later on in another video we're going to mention this in each video about using the target calculator with one parameter but in this case, whenever you're using the target calculator, that's what you use the NURAC special for. Okay, because the NURAC special is not going to, I'm just putting in random numbers here, the New York, the NURAC special is not going to give you how much the bet amounts are for each of these because it is best used for a single outcome on the target calculator. So what we're going to do is we are going to change this you have three different options manual which uh, or actually medium which is you know more a little bit more aggressive and get you profits a lot faster light and ultra light which is very conservative and of course you'll have an automatic bet reset so we're going to use this you can always use and always change this at any time you're actually going to play a little bit longer sometimes you may have a little bit of a drawdown nothing major you're going to go up and down back and up and down and you know some of course it's, it's very likely you're just going to make a profit off the back but sometimes you can go up and down because of the different uh, um, calculations that are in here progression wise but you will still end up making a profit now there's a difference making a profit of five or ten or fifteen dollars an hour as opposed to making a profit of a lot more and that's why we suggest using medium if you are a little bit more aggressive this starting bet amount is going to be your pivotal factor for those of you with a lesser bankroll this is actually what unit amount you're going to be betting on each of the parameters so whether you're playing with 10 cents it's one 10 cent unit right if you're playing with 50 cents it's one 50 cent unit if you're playing with a dollar it's a dollar if you're playing with two dollars it's two dollars if you're playing with three and so forth okay if you're playing with 10 cents and you're using three units it's 30 cents per bet so in this case what we're going to do is we're going to use three units okay that's what we're going to set for because we generally want people to just make you know 10 20 30 dollars and get out take a break come back and so forth because it's just healthy management, okay, of, uh, of making money. You know, no one's ever going to beat a casino if they sit there and play all day long. This software, believe it or not, guaranteed you will be able to make a profit. But to say you're going to beat a casino, you know, just playing every waking minute, you're going to get tired. You're going to make mistakes. So try not to do that. It's just a little bit of discipline. But you know what? You're going to have a very big income. Okay. So let's move on. What we're going to do in this case is we are going to select on the even money. Um, you can select any two you want, and that's what we recommend. Okay, any two, um, you know, parameters. Um, you can even do three of them, but let's go through. In this case, we're going to do um, evens, odds, one through 18, and dozens. Okay, um, we're going to do that. So, your starting bet is three now you're going to click on the fields and what's going to happen is if you leave it at one what will be the case is let's just say you know you input the numbers it's going to basically spit out what the best field is to play okay and it, in this case it would be high now let's reset this if you set it at two okay and this goes for all of the parameters if you're setting multiple ones okay see it's going to give you two fields 
what are the best two fields now if you set it at three because you can't go anymore that's what you selected you're going to get the three fields okay and that's how it's going to work okay and it's going to tell you you know you, you're looking at three bets so it's one two three now one important thing let's say you decided you wanted to change and just use two fields it's automatically going to reset to two so what you do is instead of if that if that was the case let, let's make it easy for you okay let's just put in some random numbers okay here we go okay let's see well this is actually asking for three so what you can do is you hit the back button and if you put in the number 32 there you go you get your three fields so whenever you want to change the fields okay or the parameters i call it just hit the back button and it will tell you what to play next okay so in this case again we're going to use three fields and let's reset the app uh, i'm going to go to a casino and just show you what i'm talking about okay let's go in here okay so the first thing we're going to do is choosing just so you have an idea okay we're using three fields i'm using that progression obviously and you can always change your progression by the way and you could also hit reset bets and um and that would change okay so you just input the numbers until they come up okay and it doesn't usually take long it takes like two or three spins sometimes four you know i i, I can't you know determine that it depends on the algorithms you know what comes up okay so what is that 25 so I'm go to 25 28 now you see me playing on uh european wheel this can work on an american wheel it doesn't matter if it's a zero or double zero okay so we have three fields here okay now notice it's saying one one and one okay so what you want to do is in this case you're going to play one here one here and one here okay so the the advantage here is you have the even money bets but you also have the two to one bets okay which pays out you know three times so in so many cases you may miss two hit that one and still come out ahead or you miss one there you go this is exactly what i'm saying so you have a two dollar profit right off the bat okay and again just a little bit of discipline here okay now it's saying one four and four on odds okay so we're going to do that so we're going to go one one two three four and four on odds okay so you had a miss because you've bet a total of seven actually you've you bet nine okay now even though all you did was break even with that but then you still had the loss on this side okay so you were at a thousand and whatever before now you're at a thousand and one it does not matter you're gonna turn a profit okay and this is why just you don't have to go crazy now this is four seven and seven based on the progression and based on a base bet of three units and it's doing its own progression once you hit it's going to have an automatic reset so this is four seven and seven let's go and again this can all be used on a mobile device you know so you're again here you are you're down you started with a thousand nine ninety seven wouldn't be worried okay you're using three parameters what i'm generally asking people to do is you know be a little more conservative and put yourself in a position to profit a little bit more by using two parameters why use three but i'm showing you even in that case you will still be okay in the end so you have 10 here okay you've got four here and you've got 10 here okay let's go now you're ahead again you're ahead five units okay is it optimal yet 
No. And you'll see why. When it resets, it's back to normal. Three, three, and three. Okay. Oh, sorry. Double check. All good. And right there. Okay, now you're down two, or actually three units. Again, this thing will make you a profit, even when you have a little bit of a drawdown. So it's six on red, middle block, and six on high. Okay, so repeat that. Double check everything. Okay, we're good. And there you are. Now you're $8 ahead. Okay, there's going to be a time you're going to hit on all three. And it that's going to boost you. So you have three, three, and three because it reset. Okay. Double check this again. Okay. As it says. And that's it. Look at this. You're $20 ahead in no time. You're not spending a lot of money. Again, you're going to have this many times that you're going to hit on all three. So, you know, this again is how you are utilizing this by using three. Now, this the same. This could be switched to columns. If you back this out, put in 21. It's actually, actually, you know what? This has to be adjusted to three. Okay, so we're going to back this out. I'm going to put in 21, and it will show you. It's here, here, and here. Okay, so this is, again, your control. I tell a lot of people, um, we'll build back 21 out. Okay, I would tell a lot of people that, hey, it makes sense sometimes to just use let's say dozens and columns one through 18 okay we'll put the 21 in this gives you more an advantage because these pay two to one they will offset themselves okay so again this is how you're using three parameters when you're using single ones we will talk about that later using the target calculator use this that way the ones uh, you know there are people who are going to use all these parameters it makes no sense either use two of them choose any two Okay, except the six line. Do not choose the six line. The six line should only be used with the target calculator. Choose any two, doesn't matter. It's always good to have one of these two to one odd payouts uh, parameters in there, dozens and a columns, or choose three. You can swap it around. But you see what happened? This jumped down to two. You got to bring it to three. However, you also can do this. If you bring it down to two or bring it down to one, for instance, Okay, you put in 21, look at what's going to happen. It's going to give you the best possible scenario. Doesn't mean, you know, you guarantee that you're going to hit, but it's going to give you the best possible scenario of where you should play. Okay, by using three parameters and one bet. Okay, in this case, 16, you missed. That's not a crisis. Just look, just look, now it's telling you to play here on odds. Okay, three on odds. You missed okay and what was that number just showing you how you 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 back right back into it okay so it's three here and the progression is there this does all the work for you see you're back to your 20 okay and then from there of course you know you choose what you want to do but every time depending on how many parameters you set make sure you set this unless you want one outcome of those three parameters, which is the best. The, the software will do its job for you and say, okay, this is where you have the best chance of all three parameters. Because if I did this, I'll put that 20 back in, look. Big difference, okay? And uh, that's all there is. So we are gonna make another video and we're gonna get into um using 
two parameter fields and using the target calculator.